Good afternoon, you guys. So it is Tuesday, and like I said, we are gonna go to NBC Grill, but it doesn't open till four. So we're coming into the park for a little bit before that happens. But it's really actually very chilly today. They said it was supposed to be the 80s. This doesn't feel like 80s. I'm actually pretty cold. So anyway, should be a good time, but non-HHN days. <laughs> so we were gonna go on Diagon Alley. I mean, duh. We were gonna go on um, Green Gods, but the main line is 45 minutes. The regular, the standby line is closed, or the single rider line is closed, which totally stings. So we're gonna go on the Mummy, but I've somehow lost Josh somewhere along the line. So, but the funniest part of this whole entire thing was that as we are standing in line. There was literally, uh, that's why I shot it, but there were probably about 35 to 40 Theravada Buddhist monks, like from Thailand, that were just like walking along the front of the entrance, so we had to like stop and wait. It was really funny. But anyway, <laughs> that's what that was. Never ever seen that before. It was kind of cool. All right, so know how I usually say don't go through the single rider line at the mummy because if it's a short anywhere from like 30 minutes or less if it's 35 minutes go to the single rider line but because it's 35 minutes right now so we're just gonna do single rider probably so change of plans again we're actually gonna it's almost four o'clock at this point so we're gonna go eat because we are starving that way we'll kind of be there at the beginning of the first of the opening which would be super cool again with the bangs I swear it just makes me crazy anyway um, but we went to go on mummy and I recant my original <laughs> statement if when you get into the single rider line and make the main curve to where you're kind of in the center where the films are playing and you can see the single rider line that is a long line so you'll be there pretty much the same amount of time as the regular line and if the regular line is in that same area that is not a 35 minute line that's at least 40 to 45 minutes so we're like let's just go eat we'll come back hopefully the park will start emptying out by then and we can actually do something so see how that works so this is really exciting we're at NBC Sports Grill and Brew we're standing in line and all of a sudden Trevor's there so he's joined us for lunch which is awesome and um, yeah so it's supposedly it's supposed to be really good I'm so excited Yay! and we have a pretty cool view too By the way, our waitress is amazing also. So here is the French dip with, it actually has horseradish cheddar. And this is Trevor's awesome chicken salad. Yes. And it's amazing chicken salad. Here's Trevor taking pictures of Josh's so while well, Josh sorry. is vlogging. <laughs> Vlog section. <laughs> Okay, so this is good news for me because they are actually taking out the back track of the Hulk. If you can see back over here, let me see if I can zoom in a little more. There it is. The loops, like right. The loops there are missing. So cool. So we're in Islands of Adventure now. Hopefully this will work out a little bit better than the other one did. And we're actually watching Hulk be dismantled um, from inside, which is kind of crazy. But food review, absolutely amazing. It was so good. That was truly probably the best friendship I've ever had in my life. It was absolutely delicious. And um, Trevor knew some of the other guys that were there as well. So we were talking to them. And I've just lost Josh again for a change. But we were talking to them and they said everything that they had was amazing too. Really, really, really good. So, so far it looks like you can't go wrong. And I mean, it took maybe 10 minutes for our food to get there. It was so good. So, if you are here, make sure you go to NBC Sports Grill and Brew.
port of entry here is so awesome, and I don't think I've filmed it yet, so there's, there's a guy filming. But this is the entrance to you know, uh, Islands of Adventure, and it's just phenomenally themed. It's so beautiful. Super, super awesome, like cool. I love the entrance to the park. And the music is amazing, too. There's something about roller coasters that are not going that's just really eerie and freaky. But you can also see why they are refurbishing it because if you see, the tracks are pretty rough looking. And I'm actually, what they're doing is basically taking all the tracks in the back, which is awesome because the back is the reason I had to stop going on this ride. Okay guys, this is something I never knew was here. It is a cell phone charging station. I know people who go to regular lockers, these are the all day lockers. It's eight bucks, full day, you can put your stuff in there, come back and forth. But this one, it is $3 and um, you can put your cell phone in and charge it. That is pretty cool. But if you have an American Express card, you can go over to the American Express uh, lounge and go chill out there instead and it's free and you can plug in there but that's a pretty cool idea because you can't take the phones with you on Hulk anyway so you can charge in there so that is really cool um, here they are the noise is them taking Hulk apart so I'm going to show you guys the secret awesome bathroom which will no longer be a secret but you see what that restroom is as soon as you come into Toon Lagoon there's a sign right here there's a big amphitheater there's a sign and right around the corner is that bathroom it is always clean and it is hardly ever used because most people go to the pretty obvious ones up by the water rides and those ones are gross because they're always wet just because people are like soaking wet when they get on there or get go in there Oh, stupid ball! Oh. <laughs> it just scared me. <laughs> oh, I'm there anyway. <laughs> I thought my camera was talking to me. It kind of freaked me out a second. Okay, that was better than Halloween Horror Nights. This is Toon Lagoon, which I don't think I've ever shown you guys except for when I was walking through. But the cool thing is, there's kind of like nobody here right now. I think everybody's an island. I mean, at Universal. Jeez. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? The theming in here is just fabulous. And my dad's favorite comic. Because <laughs> he always wanted a Dagwood sandwich. But that's what it would actually look like, so maybe not so much. Oh, this is one most people don't notice. This is Beetle Bailey with the big tent and the little pots underneath. Isn't that adorable? The big light bulb. It's so cute. It really, they really did an awesome job. I'm sorry. Just love Universal. Okay, this is the bathroom I was talking about where everybody goes. So that one's usually full. But here's something that you don't see every day if you're not looking for it. The Jurassic Park sign. Isn't that cool? There's Jurassic Park. Off in the distance. Are those the Muppets? What the heck? ride that is coming, not ride, yeah, it is ride, attraction, whatever that's coming is going to be King Kong, and it is massive, you can't even get the scale of how big it actually is, but it's all this, it goes way back there on the side, it goes all the way down, and that over there by Jurassic Park, that's part of it too, so it really is going to be humongous, but you can see in the rock face, there's Kong. Isn't that cool? So awesome. But enjoy this is Jurassic Park music in the meantime. is coming out from Thunder Falls. Truthfully, I honestly, I think one of the best values in Universal, there are two. Thunder Falls is one, and Leaky Cauldron is the other, and their food is just amazing in both places. It's really, really good. Thunder Falls has like roast, rotisserie chicken, and ribs, and whatever, and like different kind of sides, like rice and beans, and plantains, and kind of really tropical neato things. 
So it's really, really awesome. Oh. Oh. That's the car. It's a really, really good value for the money that you get. And actually, truthfully, unless you're a huge eater, one person could get the meal and share it. It's, it's a half a chicken and a, like a half slab of ribs. So it's more than enough for one person and you could just get an extra side. And it, usually Josh and I'll get it and I'll just get an extra side salad and um, and that's plenty for us. So I'll see if I can get you guys a... He's standing in the splash zone. Is he out of his cotton packing mine? I feel like I want to record Josh getting splashed. Let's see. Try <laughs> climbing on rocks. There it is. Please do not climb. Josh is fan club right there. Hey man, I want to get here. He's gonna get splashed. It is wet right there. He is going to get splashed. Let's see. No, it's taking so long. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. <laughs> I'm getting wet. Just standing there. So, I frequently get the question by friends and family. How are you guys in the parks every day, practically? Not every day, but pretty darn close to every day. And Josh, I mean, this is his day off. And he was like, can we please go to the park? Because I haven't had been able to just walk around the park. So that's why we are here today, aside from going to NBC Sports Grill Brew. So as I was saying before my phone decided to randomly stop recording, this is the reason why. Because no matter where you are in the park, there is always something beautiful and amazing and new to look at. No matter how many times you're here. And it just never gets old. It is absolutely spectacular and beautiful every time. And that's why we love the park. It's just kind of like home. And the people who work here are amazing. The team members, all of them, just make it a great experience. And the consensus, even on the annual pass holder, um, Facebook page is we love Universal because it feels like family and Universal really goes out of their way to make you feel like you're home every time you come back so it's awesome and that is why we love it and love. I mean please what's not to love fabulous fabulous view of the back side of the castle too. Why is it always uh, discolored? There it is. Oh. Anyway, cool view of... Ooh, look, the sun. Actually, the sun looks cooler in here than it actually does in real life. That's about, that's about right. <laughs> But what's not to love about Universal, really? Come on, it, it's just got everything. Then we just got off. Anyway, here's somewhere I've never vlogged so far. Honey Dukes. Isn't that cool? I just love the theming of the store. flavor beans and all sorts of neat things. It's just an awesome store. Let's check that out. That is really cool.
<laughs> by the way, this is the Zach's Bypass, which is really awesome because you can go this way and there is literally no one here. It's the fast way to go on. I actually took a little bit longer way because there's actually a little bit of shorter way, but I was trying to get that last video. So, or you can go to Dallas or San Diego and you can go blurp, 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 swerp. And there's the Jagoons and the Green Eggs and Ham Cafe. That's never open actually. But the cool green egg on a Well, it has been an absolutely awesome day. So thanks to Trevor ate a lot and Josh and our amazing waitress, Devin, and everybody else. And um, it has just been awesome. I, this has just been one fabulous day. So we're heading home now and gonna do I don't even know what <laughs> probably just relax and go to sleep to do it all over again tomorrow but I just wanted to say good night and remember it's all part of the plan so see you tomorrow